Oh, um, I'm sorry, Toddy. I didn't see. Whew. I was, um, I saw a real freaky looking squirrel back there. It was giving me the evil eye, so I had to, like, you know. You know how it goes. Um, well, thank you so much for helping with the flyers. Uh, here you go. No problem. Sorry, did I hit you hard? No, I'm good. You run really fast. Yeah, actually, I, I did uh, I did a little bit of track back in high school. Uh, tell me. Run around backstage. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so, your parents drop you off early, huh? Yeah, I wanted to get here as soon as possible. I really like this camp. Aww. All right, guys, uh, let's do some introductions. Uh, we'll all go around and say our names, our favorite musical, or something fun that rhymes with your name. Um, look, I know we all love Hamilton, but try to think of your second favorite in that case, okay? All right. Uh, we'll start. I'm Martin. And I'm Poppy, and we're your hostesses with the mostess. I'm head of the teen camp. And I'm head of the preteen camp. Poppy's favorite musical is obviously Annie. Nailed it. And Martin's favorite musical is Once. Uh, guilty as charged. All right, let's start with you. What's your name? Gabe. And? What's the question? Favorite musical. I don't really. Oh, I get it. There's too many to choose from. Favorite play, then? Never seen one. Uh, oh, OK. Uh, first day jitters. I, I get it. We'll come back to you. Um, so. What? My name is Leanne, and my favorite musical has to be Hamilton. But if I had to choose another one, I would say Hello, Dolly, because that was the first musical I had the lead in. The first? Awesome. Next. Hello, my name is Todd. Toddy! What's your favorite musical, bud? If I had to say my favorite musical, it'd be Spider-Man the Musical, because of all the special effects. Great choice, man! Next! This is my friend Jason. And his name rhymes with Mason, which is his older brother's name. Really, you couldn't think of anything better? Uh, okay. Uh, next. My name is Danny, and my least favorite musical is Hello, Dolly. That's... aggressive. Uh, next. My name is Dale, and uh, I have an issue with Hello, Dolly. More from a narrative perspective, I guess. Constructive feedback. I love it. Next. Hi, uh, I'm Sandy. I'm new to the world of theater, so I don't really have a show. But it would definitely be something that isn't about love and mush and all that garbage. I bet you would love School of Rock. As usual, Poppy, you are spot on. All right, who's next? Hi, I'm Debbie, and I have a question. Uh, OK, great. Uh, what's the question? When will the first campfire be? Tonight. Excellent. What's your favorite show? Oh, uh, right. I guess Mary Poppins. Yo, 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 I'm Joel, a.k.a. Joel, a.k.a. Joe, a.k.a. Joey from Friends, a.k.a. J Money, a.k.a. J Untwisted, a.k.a. What's your favorite show, Joe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not into, like, scripted shows or anything. I don't like to feel, like, constricted by a script, you know? I like to go with whatever pops into my brain, you know? My membrane, my improv machine, my moneymaker. But I guess if I had to choose a show, I'd go with Oh, Hello by the comic geniuses Joe And I am Jake. I like lights. And sometimes music, but only when accompanied by cool lights. Hi, I'm Stan, and my favorite musical is also Hello, Dolly. Just like Leanne's! How fun! I think I see a friendship brewing. Um, 
What did you say? Dolly? Uh, hello. Gabe! Back to you, home skillet. Favorite musical, go. Hello, Dolly. Really, what are the odds? That's my favorite, too. Aw, oh, friendships abound. I love it. Okay, great. So if you take a look at the flyers Toddy, Poppy, and I are handing out to you, uh, you'll see the killer summer we got lined up for you guys. We'll leave most of the day for you to get moved in and settled, and tonight we'll kick it off with a big bonfire where we'll tell stories, talk about Broadway gossip, and get to know one another. And then we'll have auditions and get this whole show going. This is going to be great. Just great. One. Singular sensation. Every little step she takes. Da -da 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 -da. One. Real and combination. Every move that she, she makes. makes. Okay, so you see on these flyers what cabins you'll be moving into, but feel free to walk around the camp, take a look around. Are you all excited to take part in the beauty of live theater? I know I am! Okay, kids, put your hands in. Come on, hands in! All right, now on three, we all say, I love theater, this will be the greatest summer of all time. I already know because Martin and Poppy are great counselors. All right, here we go. One, two, Three. I love theater. This is gonna be the best game ever. Because Martin Poppy already great counselors and break. Okay, guys, welcome to the first fire pit of this camp season. It's still light out. Why do we need a fire? For the marshmallow roasting, silly. Before we begin, let's all talk about the Tony Awards, because I personally have a lot of feelings Can we about- we the marshmallows first, please? Boom! There it is! Here. Pass those. What if we tell ghost stories? Oh, I got one, I got one. This one time before I got on stage as Dolly, somebody said, good luck, good luck. No Oh my god, way. you're so brave. Wow. Oh, what? No. Oh, no. no. Wait, wait, wait. I have a good scary story. This one time at theater camp, someone said the M word backstage. <gasps> oh my god. I know, I know. What? What happened? Did anything happen to the actors? What's the M word? Macbeth. Oh my god. Don't say that. Oh, even when we're not on stage, it's bad juju. You're kidding, right? A Shakespeare play? You're freaking out over a play? Hey, not just any play. The Scottish play. Bad things happen to those who speak the name of the Scottish king backstage. Bad. Bad things. Like what? Like what? Come on, guys. He's clearly never done any theater. Yeah, so? What happens when you say- Shh. Well, this one time at theater camp, one of the tech kids said it backstage to uh, freak out his friends. Then, within minutes, our lead actress got sick, like really sick. She could barely walk 10 feet, let alone get up on stage. So, despite this terrifying circumstances, I bravely took on the leading role. The lead is always the love interest. Why not the villain? Psh, that's nothing. This one time, me and my friend were rehearsing backstage and he said it. And later, when he was playing with one of the prop swords, he accidentally grabbed one of the real ones that our teacher kept around for historical reference and... Shh! He cut open his hand! Blood gushing out everywhere! Bleeding out for two whole minutes before our teacher even noticed! He had to get stitches and everything. They were really cool looking. Uh, alright, alright, alright. You all are terrible storytellers. I got a good one. <clears throat> A camp, quite like this one. A picturesque sort of nature scene, kind of in the middle of nowhere. One day after rehearsal, me and my friends Connor and Abby were walking around the camp. Connor was really into lights. Now the whole camp was lit up by these small light bulbs, connected by this thin kind of string. Connor gets into his head one night to steal one of those light bulbs for his inspiration board. Abby said it was a terrible idea, but I still let him on my shoulders to try and seal one of these things. <sighs> now, she was just about to 
reach out and touch the first one when Abby shouted, Stop! And Connor turned around and said the one thing that he knew would make Abby shut up. Macbeth. Now, I was freaked out, but I didn't think too much about it because Abby was kind of being a tool. But that night, Connor heard something at his door. Knock, knock, knock. Three times. Connor yells, shut up, Adam! Silence. He rolls over. Connor is getting really pissed now. He kicks the door open, but there's nothing there. But then... Who's coming right in front of him? And then he hears this whisper, a hiss, and it says, Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn, and cauldron bubble. And then, darkness. The next morning, I found Connor lying in the middle of his floor sweating, clutching a baseball bat. And a few feet away from him was the smashed light bulb, the same light bulb he had stolen the night before. Now that's a story. Oh, thanks, Pops. All right, guys, now roast those marshmallows and make sure to head to bed early tonight. We got a big day planned for y'all. <laughs> hey, Sammy, want a marshmallow? I already have one. Shut up. Hey, do you guys believe the story that Martin told? No, but I bet my sister's freaking out right now. Who's your sister? Leanne. Oh, sucks to be you. Yep. There's nothing that makes me more mad than a stereotypical, vapid girl. It makes all of us look bad. Who all? Girls. You don't look bad. Uh, thanks. I mean, she doesn't make you look bad. I didn't mean me specifically. I meant girls in general. We aren't all looking to impress boys. Leanne isn't looking to impress anyone. She doesn't think she needs to. She just assumes that everybody wants to be her. Oh man, that's even worse. No offense, but I can already tell that I don't like your sister. None taken. I don't like her either. No way. What? That story. There's no way that's true. Sure it is. This one time it- It is a thing. Weird things happening when people say the M word. It's all over the internet. Instances of haunting, weird injuries, and illnesses when people use the name of the Scottish King. I heard that this one guy had to be admitted to a hospital after a show because he had this weird burning sensation in his legs. He later found out that someone had soaked his pants in kerosene. Yeah, but that's just a pissed off costume designer, not a curse. So what, Martin lied? I think his friend was fond of a certain type of foliage where he was scared to be in the woods alone. Only one way to find out. What? If Martin's friend actually saw a spirit... What's the way? You should say the incantation. No way. The what? Dude, are you thinking the incantation of the witches? The one that Martin's friend heard that night. Let's not be stupid, all right? Rule number one of Creepy Woods Camp, no summoning demons. Not demons, spirits. Spirits, demons, whatever. If it hides in the dark and says boo, I'm out. I'm not scared. What's the chant? I don't know it off the top of my head. You brought your copy to camp, right? Yeah, but that was more for the examples of female monologues than- Can I borrow it? Uh, yeah, totally. I mean, whatever. I'm not scared or anything. Why not? I'm not doing anything tonight, so you know. I just have to grab it from a cabin. Cool. We can meet in the woods behind the theater. Okay. Sounds good. Woods adventure. Yes. Uh, yeah, whatever, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, school, I'm not scared either. Hey, wait up! It's fine, it's cool, it's fine. I mean, if the answer, I guess there's no time, and uh, it's not like ghosts are real, anyways. The nice woods are kind of nice at night, anyway. Um, you good? Oh, I'm great. I'm, I'm fine. I'm solid. I'm, I'm like cool beans, man. But you can go inside if you want to do. Oh, man, I'm cool. I'm cool. Like, whatever. Whatever. Okay. God, the woods are so pretty at night. Oh, we all here. Let's get the show on the road. I'm getting out. Even the light button. Can I have the book? Um, where's this incantation from? Start about four. Double, double. No way, I'm sorry. Oh, thank God. 
this is wrong. It's not a monologue. It's a line of dialogue. The other witches are supposed to be in a circle with the speaker like this. Okay, now go. Um, it's kind of too dark to read out here. Something just crawled up my leg. Oh, these bugs are like everywhere. Um, double, double, stupid mosquito. Guys, I'm seriously getting eaten out here. Double, double, toil and scrubble. Scrubble? It's way too dark to read out here. Seriously, there's something on my leg, guys. It's called grass. That's it. Let's just go inside. Thank God. Fine. That's better. Can we at least keep the door open, let the fresh air come in? Sure. Oh, the bugs will get in. All right, let's just try this again. Circle up. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn, and cauldron bubble. See, nothing. Maybe the line is busy? Try and leave a message. No, it's like I was saying. It's not a monologue, it's a dialogue. I'd say double double, then you guys would say toil and trouble, then we're going around in a circle like this getting faster and faster. Okay, so double double, toil and trouble, fire burn, and cauldron bubble, <sighs> double double, toil and trouble, fire burn, and cauldron bubble. Double double. Toil and trouble. Fire burn. And cauldron bubble. Double double. Toil and trouble. Fire burn. And cauldron bubble. Ah! What was that? Uh, there's probably nothing. Go back to sleep. Probably nothing. I'm late for this. Jason, just go back to sleep. I'm turning on the light. Uh, what the heck? Thank God. Danny, does your lamp work? Feel free to try. Looks like the other cabin's lost power, too. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, huh? Were you outside? I was helping Martin and Poppy clean up, since you left your graham crackers everywhere. Bet you were showing that sandy girl back to her cabin. Shut up! Anyway, all the lights have gone out. I think a fuse blew or something. It really freaked out the other kids. I would scream from all across the camp. Really? Yeah. I think the wind slammed the theater door shut. I heard a big boom. Wimps scared of a storm. Says the guy who wet the bed after hearing some thunder. Says the guy who screams like a girl. No, we all just go to bed. Summoned a ghost or something? You don't think. Martin's story! The spirit that attacked Connor! Yeah, but that was fake. It was just a dumb campfire story. They clearly think it's real. <laughs> <laughs> they got scared by a campfire story. Did you hear Leanne scream? That is awesome. Just. I just had an amazing, amazing idea. Well, what? There he is. Go ask him. What are you waiting for? Go ask him. Why don't you ask him? Because it wasn't my idea in the first place. Well, you came along. Well, yeah, but 
Martin, Martin, man of the hour. Oh, why, thank you. Well, Gabriel here is meaning to ask you a question about your story last night. Oh, really? What's that? Well, we were wondering if it was, um, if it was true. It was true? Yeah. Well, of course it was true. I remember because it happened after a particularly arduous tech Sure, rehearsal. sure, but did you see it? See what? The, the ghost. Well, Connor said it was more of a spirit. Sure. Uh, directly? No. Uh, but when Connor told me what happened, he, uh, he definitely saw something. Why do you ask? Uh, why do we ask? Why do we ask? Uh, Danny! Danny! Yeah, poor Danny. He was, uh, he was a little freaked out after your story last night. Aww. Well, we tried to calm him down, but, you know, he was insistent that we ask you if the story was real or not. Poor kid. Poor kid. Uh, well, unfortunately the story is true, but if he wants to talk about it, just send him my way. Sure, but listen. If Connor were to, hypothetically speaking, of course, give advice about the ghost spirit, what would he say? Uh, what kind of advice? Oh, I don't know. Like, how to, uh, hypothetically fight back or something? Fight back? We were thinking that Danny would be comforted to know specific ways to counter the spirit thing. If it came down to it, of course. Uh, well, I would tell Danny that as long as he doesn't try to actively call these spirits, he should be fine. Sure, that's, uh, that's really good advice. Uh, these spirits? As in multiple spirits? Well, yeah, obviously. Why would they travel alone? That sounds boring. Yeah, really boring. Anyway, I need to go ask a man about a Pipia mache squid mask. Um, oh, remember to review, review, review your lines. Especially you, Gabe, because you have a lot. Who knew under that sarcastic, indifferent exterior there'd be such a phenomenal performer? Well, thanks for stopping by, Martin. You really should get to memorizing your lines. So dedicated, I love it. You have a lot of lines? Yeah, I guess. What do you have? I think his name is George. George? The lead? Yeah, whatever. How did you? I don't know, all right. Okay. So, multiple spirits. Multiple spirits. You know, Stan seems really nice. Oh yeah, Stan, he's a sweetheart. No, I'm not really feeling the hostility and poshness surrounding theater. Aren't we all here to be a community? Aren't we all here to just chill? Oh, sweetie, you're so naive. Theater is about competition. There's an ensemble, and there are leads. And yeah, I totally support that whole every part is important, every part is essential, singles for life. I'm just here for the new people and the new campground. What does that make me? Oh, definitely lead. Your appreciation for nature is something that lacks in this cruel, illiberal world we live in. You really think so? Do I lie? I don't know. I met you like yesterday. Well, then we're practically sisters. <laughs> All right. The story that Martin told, it's really getting in my head. Oh, don't let it. Martin likes to keep the kids on their toes. Do we have a baseball bat? No, and even if we did, what were we going to do with these chicken wing arms? And wouldn't they go through a ghost? I don't know the physics of the dam. <laughs> LOL, that was pretty good. I will give you that. Let me go see you. Martin, is that a camper? Don't open the door. What if it's a kid? Well, if it's a kid, then it's a freaky witch kid who's up terribly late. It's 10 o'clock. What is this, the Crucible? Oh, I played Abigail Williams in that two years Shh. ago. Anybody there? Just a pretty night sky. <laughs> I think. I think it's over. A raccoon. A really big raccoon. You 
you sleeping tonight? Hell no. Okay, kiddos, we brought you together today for a fun icebreaker. Wait, where's Dale? Oh, uh, he wasn't feeling too great, so stay back at the cabin. Oh no! Well, I guess I'll check on him later. Oh, uh, he said he was going to see the nurse, so he's definitely not going to be at her cabin. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's move on to our lesson for today. This is a what? An improv game! A what? An improv game! Alrighty, time for a little wake up call for y'all. Get them toesies breathing and following to the water, however deep you'd like. Alright, guys. Circle up. Alright. So Sandy, you stay here. Alright. So we usually start with uh, an unusual place and then add props on top of that. Gabe, our rookie of the year. Why don't you give us a place, buddy? In water. Okay, a uh, decent start, but it um, actually has to be different. Uh, than our current location. Yes, Danny? In your butt. Boat! Boat, if you indeed own one. Okay, I do not own a boat, but a boat is a great idea. All right, we need a prop. A narwhal! That's the spirit. With bad gas. Now you're getting it. All right, Leanne, I think you remember how to do this. Of course I do, Martin. I remember when I headed that intro group in 2015 when we did that special showcase. Ah, those are some times. All right. Now, let's close our eyes and be one with the fluid surroundings. Oh, oh Jesus, Leanne, this Nawal's wicked heavy. Yeah, and on top of that, this boat's not too stable right now either. Ooh. And boy, does he reek too. Pause! Now, this is one member of our pristine water circle. Shots freeze and replaces, let's say, Leanne. Jason, my man, why don't you step up? Come on, buddy. It's all about the synergy. The words will just flow. Uh, I, uh... Come on, you wee lad. Help me with this here narwhal. I'll jump in, too. Toddy, I love your enthusiasm. Also, love this camaraderie. This is what improv's all about. Ah, there she blows, Jason. Come on, you wee lad. Say what you're really thinking. Freeze, Martin, I'll take it off from you. Okay, great. Say, Todd, where's the ungodly stink coming from? Smells like ocean trash and BP oil. Ha! Current events, it's... stench of decay. Yeah, decay of something up this narwhals. Ruins, ruin of worlds. Ruin of souls, ruin of toil, ruin of tolls. Ruin of villages, ruin of oil. Yeah, guys, I guess a stinky narwhal could ruin your appetite, I guess, but... He says you are all penitent. You are all weak. Well, that went in a very different direction, but uh, I love your creativity, boys. You alright, dude? Alright, stellar performance, guys. Uh, poetic, however irrelevant. Alright, it seems like... Oh, oh, would you, would you look at the time? Uh, we... Why don't we break for lunch, and uh, we'll meet back around one-ish. Oh, whoa, you okay? You kind of wigged out there. I'm all right. Why did you say that stuff? He says, what stuff? What do you mean, what stuff? Are you trying to freak us out? He says he doesn't know why Martin said that stuff about his performance. I think you guys are being jerks. He says when he looked down at the water, he didn't see... Really? What did you see? When he looked down at the water, he didn't see himself. He saw something else, but it wasn't clear. Listen, you low freak, you better tell us what you saw right now. No joke, tell us what you saw. Ah! Dude. You guys are up to something. What's up, Sandy? Never mind me. You guys are planning something. I don't know what I you're... want in. What? You heard me. Guys, 
I can hear you. Can I help you? What's going on in there? I thought I heard yelling. Yelling? Yelling? No, no, just a bunch of kids rehearsing their lines. Oh, okay then. Dale, how are you feeling? Yeah, he's fine. Uh, Okie dokie then. Are you sure everything is okay? Because I don't think a lot of your lines include a lot of screaming, and I love the creative exercise, I really do. But I don't want you guys to strain your voices before the big night. No, no, just a normal use of inner voices in here. Can I still come in? Come in? Why? I, I mean, why? Just want to make sure no one's hurt or anything. No, no one. Ah! Uh, Poppy! Everyone, look, it's your favorite counselor, Poppy! Poppy, good old pal of mine. How are you, Poppy? Look what I found in set. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, nothing much. What's up with you? <laughs> what is all this? You caught us, Poppy. <gasps> what are you? <laughs> we wanted it to be a surprise. Uh, surprise? Yup. I heard that your birthday was coming up, so we're making you a banner. Oh my god, that's so sweet! <laughs> and to think I thought you guys were up to trouble! <laughs> I can't believe this! <laughs> Keep up the good work! Yeah. Bye. Good thank you. I know. Man, how can I help you today? Someone put a toad in my bed. Oh, that's not fun. This is malicious. I tell you, somebody's out to get me. What's wrong? Someone put a toad in my bed. Oh, I thought you saw something else. Who would do this? It's just a toad, Leanne. They are adorable. They look like little old people with their bones adorable? in. Adorable? Okay, let's all just do some breathing exercises to bring some peace back into this interaction. I don't think anybody purposefully put a toad in their cabin. Probably just wandered in from outside. Exactly, Desiree! Oh, my name is Lee. Wild animals are just a hazard of the outdoor theater trade. I'm sure no one is out to get you. Okay, yeah, probably just wandered. Exactly! Woo! Crisis averted! Oh, wait, what was I just doing? Oh, <laughs> I guess if I don't remember, it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> By the way, Leanne, I love your shirt today. Well, thank you. I love what you've done with your hair today. Aw, so sweet. All right, you guys have fun with whatever you're doing. Doodaloo. Nice work. I actually believed you. This cream was really believable, transporting, inspired. I think the word I was looking for was blood curdling. Do you think it distracted Poppy enough? Oh, definitely. She has no idea what's going on. You rocked it. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy and my devoted fans. I hope Stan and Gabe have found the bat from Prop Storage by now. How long can it take to find a bat? It's not like anyone here actually plays baseball. No one is in the theater anyway. What was that? What was what? I thought I saw something. Probably just a bug. Maybe. Anyways, I'm not liking this whole baseball bat idea. I'm nervous that we might get caught stealing a prop. But if it helps us with the ghosts, I guess I'm behind the idea. Oh, by the way, have you seen my charger laying around the cabin? No, why? Must have fallen out of my bag or something. I can't find it anywhere. Weird, you're the second person to ask me that today. Gabe can't find his either. <laughs> what? <laughs> Poppy's hair looks like a freaking bird's mess today. <laughs> Stan the man, Gabriel, young actor of the year. What you two doing here? Come Martin, on. Martin, Martin, Martin. Uh, how this? you doing, doing on this doing that. fine evening? Doing that. 
Uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I just came back to get some uh, stuff for rehearsal. What are you two doing? <laughs> we were just... Um, I lost my phone earlier when we were painting. Oh, that sucks, man. But it's okay, because like, I lose my phone literally every single day of my life. Like one time at theater camp, I lost it in the light booth. I didn't find it for a whole week. I know! And it's, you know, after painting those phenomenal arches, like... It's such a shame that's how the universe rewarded your creative genius. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna exit stage right. Um, hope you find your phone. That was close. I know, right? So ah, where did you come from? Behind the set. Did I hear you say you lost your phone? Kinda. Oh, it sucks, man. Sucks to suck. Um, yeah. So what's the deal? What's the dealio? What? Where do you think you lost the phone? Um, I don't know. That's why it's lost. Right on, right on. Maybe it's back with those paint cans. What do we do? Hey, yo, Joel. What up, dog? I think I might have left my phone in the front of the ticket booth. Do you want to check for me? Want me to stand and look through the rest of these boxes? T to the I to the C-K-E-T. You got it, diggity dog. Now let's find this freaking bat. I, I don't think I've seen one anywhere. We need a plan B. Like what? You know, I really don't think this is a good- I think, I think, I think. We can consider all our options later, but for now this ghost or spirit or whatever isn't gonna stop coming for us. It's gonna keep coming and coming and coming. Don't act like you didn't see what it's doing to Jason. You want that to happen to me or Debbie or Jake or Leanne? Then we have to go on the offensive side and just find something heavy that we can swing at it. What about that? <laughs> you guys should have seen your faces. What the hell, man? <laughs> you guys are like, ah! And then you were like, ah! <laughs> that was awesome. I think I'm dead. I think I died. Anyway, found your phone, man. This isn't mine. Well, that's weird. I found it near this young kid's cabin. What a bunch of weirdos. They're cutting up all these magazines. It says property of Jason. Yeah, isn't that your name? What? What's with this light, man? Don't touch that! What? The ghost light! Ghost light? Oh man, you theater nerds and your ghosts. Hey, don't disrespect the theater world. If you guys please stop this love this quarrel. Seriously, what's a ghost light? The superstition around it is that theaters tend to be inhabited by ghosts. Whether it's the spirits of old actors or people that used to work in the building. The ghost light is supposed to keep them at bay so that they don't do anything mischievous while no one's around. Cool. Okay, you guys got in okay. Did you guys get the stuff? Were you just on the ground? Were you just on the ground? Ha! <laughs> roasted. Not really roasted. You gotta be kidding me. It'll work fine. That's a kid's toy. When I was in Little League, I could swing one of these things like 10 miles per hour. It's fine. It's plastic. It'll bend before it even makes contact with anything. I think it looks great, Gabe. Uh, well, actually... It's... I'm not one to advocate for the unnecessary demise of trees, but we were hoping you'd find a wooden one. This is all we can find in the prop closet. Leave it to a theater camp not to have any sports equipment. I'm just saying, we couldn't have, like, added something to it. A little post-apocalyptic panache. Like what? Like some nails? Exactly. Or like staples? Staples? What would that even look like? The sharp part wouldn't even come out of the other end. That would be like medieval times torture weapon meets Babe Ruth, the office supply manager. Oh, zinger! Why is this happening? Alright, who's messing with my lights?
Of course they loved old Sparky. Of course they did. Now this is a party. Bring down the lights! Now I'm gonna kill whoever you messing with my lights! Not if they kill us first! Everyone loves a good rage. What are you doing? Relax, my lady. It's not like there's anyone actually here. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, I just got a cold. Please be quiet. Please tell me someone has a flashlight. Hey, you found your phone. Mine's about to die too. I think I really broke my nose, man. Shut yeah. up! Debbie? Stan? Leanne? Stan? Deb? Wait, I think I hear something. <sighs> Joel, stop breathing so heavily. I'm injured, okay? I'm allowed to breathe. Wait, I think I heard something from over there. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. Wait, no, no, come on! Don't leave a brother behind! You'll be okay. Oh, come on, you'll be fine. What happened? He hurt himself in the shin with a whipple ball bat when he was running to rescue me. Oh my god, this hurts so bad. <laughs> you hit yourself with the bat? It was dark, okay? My phone died and I was just couldn't see anything. I was just trying to help. <laughs> was Teddy and Jill? Um. Joel's nursing a broken nose. It broke Joel's nose? No, I broke Joel's nose. Oh, good. Did you see what grabbed you? No, it was so dark. I mm. think I dropped my phone when it pushed me. Pushed you? Blood, blood! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> what happened? Whoa. Blood? Blood. Why is there blood on the floor? Why is there blood on the floor? Why is there blood on the floor? Man, I can't believe you guys left me behind. Ah! Ah! Joey, told him to stay put. No, the only thing you told me was to shut up. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 going to sleep again. Guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Wow, you guys are terrible. Ugh. You guys going to the late night study session last night? Whatever. That's great. Now I really hate all of your enthusiasm, but you should really try to not burn yourselves out. We got a lot of paint to prime today, and we did not get any on the costumes. Now, we were all gonna have breakfast together today because we were sensing a little animosity after the improv game yesterday. Um, just remember that we are all one team. We are all here to provide a beautiful wave of creativity in order to create some game. Now, oh, cool, the game's here. 
Whoa, you guys look so tired. What? Have a raging party without me last night? <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. You guys are like 12. Anyway, we've got a fun, fun day planned for you. What do we got, Poppy? Well, I'll tell you, Martin. We got paintbrushes. We got primer. We got sets to build. We got lights to hang. We've got lines to learn. And most importantly, we've got fun to be had. Woo! Great. Oh. Right, so let's play a fun game because you all look so tired. We'll go down the line and say one fun thing we did last night because I know you must have some really fun rehearsal stories. Okay, I'll start. Martin and I were up last night watching a video on the special effects of the Broadway production of Wicked. I know, right? It was so cool. So cool. Okay, we'll go down the line. You go, Dale. What? 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 Okay, that was an interesting start. Uh, love your intensity, man, but just remember it is morning, so try to take it down a notch. Tell you what, why don't we meet at the theater in 30? Uh, that'll give you all plenty of time to grab a snack or maybe a pot of coffee or two. All right? All right. Ready? And break. Thanks, 30. I swear, this kid's getting weirder and weirder every day. <laughs> oh, little girls, little girls, everywhere I turn, I can see them. Little girls, little girls, night and day I eat, sleep, and breathe them. Some women are driven with diamonds. Some women are driven with pearls. Lucky me, lucky me, lucky me look, look at what, what I'm dripping, dripping with. Little girls. <laughs> yeah. Did she say thanks, 30? Yeah. Is that like her nickname for Martin? Ugh, no, my god. Did I say something to offend you? Yes, as a matter of fact, you did. And lay off. No, if you're gonna do a theater program, you should have some knowledge in how the theater works. Oh, and I bet you're going to enlighten me now, oh queen of the theater. Somebody has to. Say thank you, 30, what's a sign of respect? I gotta admit, I'm lost on this one too. Oh, Gabe, it's a good thing I came into your life. Lots of cues and directions are being shouted out during a performance. So when someone like the stage manager says 30 minutes to places or 5 minutes to curtain, it's polite to repeat what they said with a thank you in front, like thank you five so that they know you heard them. Well, Poppy isn't stage manager right now. Just get with the program, little girl, and stop being so annoying. We're going to go see if one and Poppy are hiding extra coffee in the visitor center. Alright, see you guys later. What do you think their deal is? I don't know. I don't care. I mean, sleep, coffee, or a better baseball bat or something. They're up to something. You said your phone died in the theater last night, right? Uh, yeah. Mine did too. So did Jake's, and Gabe's, and Leanne's. That's weird. Exactly. Too weird to be a coincidence, and too weird to just be an accident. Maybe they drained a lot of battery looking for service. I lost my charger yesterday. That's weird. So did mine. So did Gabe's, actually. Maybe someone took them. Maybe the spirits took them. Or maybe a bunch of totally normal, irritating kids did it. I don't know about that. Let's follow them.
did it. Did what? Did it. The haunting, the spooky stuff, the knocking. What if they were behind it? That's crazy. He just acrobated his way up onto that roof in two seconds flat. He could have been the one on the roof of our cabin that night. What? Why would they want to do that? We need to get closer. Too short. I can't see you. Neither can I. How about you get on my shoulders and tie the thing? Why don't you get on my shoulders? Why don't you get on my shoulders? Because you're a good, good guy. Here, yeah. let me put it this way. Do you think you have enough strength to put me on your shoulders? What can you see? Uh, not much. They're, they're just talking. Oh wait, Dale's about to grab something from his backpack. Oh my god! What? They have them! They have our chargers! Those little... Wait, wait, wait! Something's happening! Something's happening! How many more do we need again? Just enough to get us through tonight! I was thinking that we could put one of them on each of their cabin doors, so that that way they wake up and... Ah! If we get even half of the reaction that we did the last time, oh man, this will be great! We could just photocopy the old one. No way! Each one should be personal! Personally creepy. You sure? It'd be much faster if we just... From the paper. What? I have a walkie. What? Stand me up. I have to get back in there. You know you're Do it! Heavy. Dude, those kids were weird, right? Kids are weird in general. Yeah, but these ones always look like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Always planning some crap. I wish that reference went over my head. I wish I was neurotypical, and I wish I could find some damn coffee. There's this old pot thing. Holy tales, I am. Hey, have you found your charger yet? No, but I mentioned to post another ironic bottom test of how this campus cleared the pores of my blackened heart. Same here, except I don't have a tumbler, and I'm assuming you do. Uh, you got me there. The kids, they, they took the... They, they, took, they the... took our chargers and all that weird crap that's been going down. Them too. I don't know why I'm surprised. The time and patience to enter this amazes me. I don't get it. What? They! They are the haunting! Nah, now they're far too juvenile to be that elaborate. I wouldn't put it past them though. Coffee now. Leanne, it's the kids! They're knocking on the roof, it's the kids! Huh? Stan, you're not talking in your brown-nosed tone. She can't understand your blunt statement. Shove it! Leanne, it's the kids doing all the weird crap. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, thank you, Stanley, but kids can't clear a roof. I saw it with my own eyes. They were clearly eavesdropping on us and using your own fears against us. Fool us once, shame on them. Fool us twice, shame on us. My brother is a disease. Ugh. Should we do something? I know they're just kids, but I have some unbridled man-to-man -man beef with those little- Yes, we should, and I have an idea. Oh, I like this. I'm in. So, should we, like, huddle or something? Okay, right? You huddle? We should huddle, right? Uh, I mean, if you're down. I've never been one for group hugs, but this makes me feel warm all over. Ah, we 
Where did you come from? I couldn't find you guys this morning. Did you ever think there was a reason for that? Nope. So what's the plan for today, man? <laughs> plan, man? <laughs> Where do I come up with this stuff? Um, hey, Joel, not to be a jerk. Too late. Ha! Burn. Um, we were kind of in the middle of something. Wait, wait, wait. He could be useful. He can? Yep. Hear me out. Get that coffee poured and I'll tell you guys over a crappy cup. What's so important, Joel? Yeah, why'd you have to bring us here? That's what they told me to do. Who? Gabe and them. Gabe and them? Yeah, they say get those sniveling little brats in here or else. Oh, really? And what else did they say? Uh... Get the kids in the theater. Don't let them know. Oopsie. Oh, I get it. So they figured it out. Right, and now they think they'll get us back by scaring us. Ha! Nice try. I'm the king of pranks. No one gets me. Ooh, the lights went off. I'm so scared. Let me turn on my phone. Where's my phone? Never mind, I got mine. Um. No, I don't. Wait, who just touched me? Not cool. Jason, was that you? No. Joel, how much longer till the lights come back on? Joel? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I thought you were the king of pranks, Danny. <laughs> Sucker. You guys suck. Well, you guys deserved it. We could have done way worse. Nice job getting Joel involved, Jake. He did exactly what you said he would. He's such a doofus. Whose idea was it to tie him up anyway? He's never been so quiet. Jake's. Not me. What? It wasn't my idea. Don't look at me. This was your guys' idea. We were the patsies this time. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. What is... <laughs> I don't like this. What don't you like, Toddy? Toddy? Only Martin calls me Toddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, we gotta go second. <laughs> that was low, Martin. Yeah, serves you right for trying to conjure the theater ghost. How'd you know? We're not as dumb as we may seem. We've got eyes everywhere. You could call us the phantoms of the theater camp. He's there, the phantom of the opera. Beware, the phantom of the opera. He's there, the phantom of the opera. Yeah, yeah, you got us. Nice job. So you guys tied up Joel then? Right, that would make sense. Huh? <laughs> Who's Joel? <laughs> Who's Joel? That's funny. You guys are good at this. Uh, no, seriously. Who's Joel? That super annoying kid tied up over there. Uh, where'd he go? Who? Joel. Jeez, Joel. Who's Joel? Seriously? You don't know who Joel is? Look, guys, I dare you to find a Joel on this attendance sheet. We have over 50 kids in this camp, and not one of them is named Joel. We have a Joel in Cabin E, but he's been sick with the chicken pox all week. I know I've talked to him. Me too. We all have. I think you guys have taken the Scottish play story to heart and conjured a person that doesn't even exist. Now, stop fooling around in here and meet us for dinner at 60. We messed with your phones, the lights, and we jumped on your roof. They made up a kid! Don't forget the faces in the lake. And in the theater. That was a cool trick, actually. How'd you guys do that? There were no faces in the lake. We were only pretending. But we saw them. What? That was just your mind messing with you. How about the other night? That was you guys circling around us with masks, right? What kind of masks? Like, clown masks? The creepy plastic kind they used to build masks out of. 
Like this one right here. Guys, we really need to get out of here. All this talk about masks, visions of faces that may or may not have been there, and Joel, fact or fiction, it's really freaking me out. I'm with Debbie. You guys and your theater superstitions are way too much. I don't think this is superstition anymore. On my foot? What? August 13th, 1999. Tragedy struck the Langstonville Theater House when a young man by the name of Joel Hartford was accidentally killed during rehearsal. The young man played the title role in the play of Macbeth. Can you just say Joel? Uh, that's just a coincidence. Or is it? Ha 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 